Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the animation that I made with this, and I'm still doing that performance test. So it turned out that there were just a little bit over eight seconds per frame to do this, and so that is about four and a half times as fast as the original test with the CPU. So that's that is a significant difference, but the key was I had to change this to 256 by 256. But we'll do one more quick test while we're here. We'll just change this to 1024 by 1024, just on this one frame and render that, see what that does. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like it. <laughs> oh no, there it goes. So actually a little bit longer in that case. Alright, how about 512 by 512? I'm keeping those on bite size boundaries. So 8.37, about the same as the previous version. So that's not bad. So, in, and then you could also test the just the sampling in general for the rendering. We might make it 20 and see if that's actually adequate and see how much of a difference that would make. Uh, it starts to get grainy, so that's not going to cut it, but it cuts down in half. So if, if you want to do a quick test, that'd be a way to do it because the colors seem to come out just fine. All right, so here's the animation that played on it. So it looks pretty good, minimum of 50 samples to make it work. A couple of large lights in the scene, and that's using those fractal base shards that I generated in that previous tutorial. And so they kind of give it that nice glassy kind of feel because the edges are nice and sharp. Just needs a nice sound effect to go with it. All right, well, so that, you know, it's well worth it. It proves that if you play around with these settings in advance and kind of get the effect that you want, um, that can save you a lot of time. Even just changing these was a huge difference. You know, maybe it doesn't sound like much, but maybe it's two seconds per frame. But over the course of you know, hundreds and hundreds of frames, yeah, it can make a lot of difference so, as far as your overall time. Let's see it 128 by 128 did. Oh, holy, oh, no, that's right. I still have my uh, my sampling down here. All right, let's try that at 128. A little bit longer at 128, 256 seems to be pretty good. And then let's take off the anti-aliasing and see how bad it looks without it. Don't tell me it's actually slower without anti It's usually always slow, fat, slower with anti-aliasing on. Wow, it hardly made any difference whatsoever there. Well, that's very interesting. Start resolution. Let's try one last thing. Let's put these transparency settings down. Nope, no difference on that as well. Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.